Well, one of the problems that ar arise is if you go back to Weston Price and Fran Francis Pottinger's research from back in the 30s, they discovered that within one generation of eating uh, processed foods, uh, white bread, white sugar, mm -hmm. that type of thing, uh, pasteurized milk and so forth, that the next generation, their jaw bones became smaller because they don't have the mineral content to uh, enhance the development. So, excuse me, the key is that you're getting these problems uh, that are cropping up. And, you know, the dentist, it's a, it's a, a billion dollar industry mm -hmm. of extracting wisdom teeth. So, you know, you have a golden goose here. And, and if you look at the literature, a high percentage of these teeth, if left alone, will erupt. You know, they start uh, extracting, or I call them amputating them, mm -hmm. uh, age 16, 17. The jawbone is still developing. So the key here is that when they extract the tooth, they're not getting primary closure to the socket. And the bacteria are migrating from the mouth into the jawbone and living there for the rest of your life. In fact... Uh, my mentor, Dietrich Klinghardt, who's an MD, PhD, basically estimates that 90% of all th wisdom tooth extraction sites are infected. 90%. 90%. Well, that would make sense. I mean, you just can't, and using conventional methods, you can't get rid of bacteria. I mean, bacteria, bacteria excuse me, is everywhere. Well, the key is when, when I do an extraction, I don't do third molars, but uh, if I do a, a regular tooth, Basically, you meticulously have to curette or scrape out the socket, and then we ozonate it using a, a medical um, machine that produces ozone, and that kills all kinds of pathogens, and then irrigating it with ionic silver, and then homeopathics, and then putting in a, a resorbable sponge called gel foam, mm -hmm. and then suturing it up. Postoperatively, the patients have minimal to no pain after the surgery. And the pain is coming from the bacteria that are left or migrate into the canal and the toxins they produce stimulate the pain receptors, the nerve endings. So the key is you can reduce dramatically the infection of that area. Mm -hmm. It is possible, but not, not with conventional Conven doctors. Correct. I, I can give you two Quick examples, we had a patient in from Seoul, Korea that had 10 years of congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. And I, she went to all the top cardiologists and no one could get to the, the core, uh, you know, etiology of what was going on. And when she flew in and I tested her, she had a strep infection in the jawbone where a wisdom tooth was taken out 10 years ago. Once we got rid of the strep infection with nutrients and frequencies, the congestive heart failure completely disappeared. Another uh, quick example was a patient who had emphysema on steroids for a year, and I tracked it down to a strep infection in the jawbone where a bicuspid tooth was taken out 15 years ago, cleared up the jawbone infection, and the emphysema totally disappeared. Wow, that is just so crazy that that could be the case. I mean, it's just, it, I mean, it, it 